Hey there YouTubers, it's Don from True Cable, and today we're going to be talking to you about different Ethernet cable colors and their purposes. So stick around, I'll be right back. We're going to talk about what all these colors mean. So many companies have their own color code system that they developed on their own. And so if you're working to a contract, you need to use that color code system. Otherwise, you're not going to get paid for your work and you're going to get people upset at you. So you definitely want to use the color code system that the authority having jurisdiction or AHJ tells you to use. Now, it could be that you are the authority having jurisdiction. You're the AHJ. Well, uh, it might make sense for you to color code your installation uh, so that you understand uh, and don't forget how you configured something so that when you go back to address it later or fix it or expand it, you know what you did. And also, you know, don't forget about the next person in line who might have to deal with whatever you put in uh, so that they understand what you did. But uh, no doubt you're wondering what all these various colors mean and what they apply to. So we're going to talk about that right now. <music> Okay, so the first color up is orange. Now, orange is what's known as a demark point or demarcation point. And traditionally, what that meant or means is the, the uh, data cabling from the, tele, the telephone company, your ISP, whatever, coming in to your uh, entrance facility inside your building. Now, um, it could be something as simple as a black cable terminated to like an orange box or an orange backboard. But it's going to be orange somehow. It doesn't necessarily mean an orange cable. And oftentimes, because it's outdoor cabling, it's not going to be an orange cable. So, yeah, uh, you're going to have something orange. That means it's something from the outside service provider, and now it's mounted in your place. DMARC. Okay, so the next one in line is going to be green. And green is the customer network terminations, uh, or I should say the network terminations uh, at the DMARC at the customer side. So when the telephone company goes and installs stuff from the orange DMARC and then runs it over to your infrastructure, or if your installers are running into your infrastructure, they're going to use green for that particular task. Okay, so the next color up is purple, and that is termination of common equipment like PBX switches, uh, computers, multiplexers, and the like. So that's used at the termination side of, for common network equipment. Okay, so the next three colors we're going to address in series. Uh, they are white, gray, and brown, and those all represent backbone cabling. And so white would be a first level backbone from the main uh, telecommunications, uh, not the telecommunications room, but the equipment room to the first telecommunications room is typically white. And that is known as first level backbone. From one telecommunications room to the next telecommunications room is second level backbone, gray. A backbone from one building to another distinct building is brown. The next one I'm sure you have seen quite a bit, and that would be horizontal cabling blue. So the, the blue that you normally see network cabling uh, in, it actually means the cabling on one individual distinct floor of a multi-story building. Let's say you've got a five-story building. And on the third, the third story, you've got links going from your telecommunications room out to the work uh, space outlets, that being places where you plug in your computers. Well, the cabling that's used to, uh, to connect all of that up together is called horizontal cable. Horizontal doesn't mean it's necessarily going to run stock straight like this. You know, it has to be horizontal. It, it could go like that too. It's just that it's contained to the same floor. And the second from last color in the 606 code is yellow. And that is used for auxiliary circuits, fire alarm, and things like that. Emergency equipment, stuff that's not necessarily related to your actual data network. And finally, we have red. Red is considered to be reserved. 
Now, red may be something that a company will have you use for a certain purpose. Generally speaking, uh, you should be careful about using red in a commercial situation because local code may prohibit you from using red. It could be for something uh, that is very specific. So uh, you don't want to get yourself in trouble with your local code inspector. So if you're going to use red and you're in a commercial situation, be sure you can actually get away with using red. And with that, I'm going to say, uh, please leave us a comment, uh, subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down as you see fit. And with that, I'm going to say you have a great day. I hope you understand all these colors now and use them. Happy networking. Thank you very much for watching the video. You may not be aware of it, but we also have extensive blogs at our Cable Academy, 200 plus and counting. And most of the videos that you actually see here on YouTube are in fact embedded in a blog, which is far more detailed in regards to photography and descriptions. So I strongly recommend you head over to our Cable Academy, truecable.com, and check it out.